Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. Balls movie thoughts. I promise this video is not just going to be me talking about my favorite jokes in this. I really like the the whole Yoda parody with, you know, Mel Brooks as Tiny Little Yogurt and how he, you know, he's actually the one to introduce the concept of merchandising which becomes this really great running gag. One of the movie's best running gags, really, with how after that scene, I think pretty much every location we visit from that point on, except Planet Dreadia, has at least one bit of product placement, of merchandising, from the, and, and the bit about how, you know, that's where the real money from the movie is made. You know, that's a really great thing. And the alien reference, you know, with... They actually found someone who looks like Sigourney Weaver, and they got John Hurt! You know, and he literally... And, and that's so perfect, because otherwise he could not have possibly made the line, not again, work anywhere near as well. You know, that is just... That is brilliant. And, you know, the man has a sense of humor. You know, that he's... And, and then the, the creature just, you know, does this weird little... Wow. That I, I think that was like a reference to some old... Like, what... I don't remember, so I'm not even going to bother. But, yeah. I love the book-ending marriage scenes. Excuse me. With this... You know, just the 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 priest is is just hysterical, and his lines are some of the best in the movie. You know, with just at first with you know we are gathered here today to witness Prince Vespa moving right past the altar, down the corridor, and away from the yeah. Just yeah, I I don't remember the exact word, but just that entire the the fact that he keeps going. I just, I love that, you know, and then there at the end, they're there again, and you have that entire exchange with just, at first, you know, I'm sorry, could we keep going? Thank you. And then, you know, they, they interrupt, be quiet! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I don't want you to be, be sorry, I want you to be quiet. I'm sorry. Brilliant, you know, and then okay. Uh, uh, I don't, you know, I don't have the patience for this short version, and you know he goes over the the names, and she's like, nah, I'm not really sure, and you know, and he's like, okay, I swear someone will be married here today. Short, short version. Do you? Do you? Good. Kiss. You're married. <laughs> Friggin' hilarious. Just some of the best of the movie. And the entire scene, I mentioned this in the review as well, but when they're watching the movie and the whole thing with, you know, fast forwarding and, you know, when will then be now, soon, how soon, yeah, what we're looking at now is now. The whole thing, brilliant, just fantastic writing. And the end reference with you know, the, what's it called, you know, where, where she becomes, you know, for, first they, it's, it's not just a, a sh spaceship, it's a transformer, you know, I, I don't know, was this actually, like, the same year as Transformers or something, isn't the old cartoon from like 87, wasn't that when it started, or something like that? That was really quick work, you know, spoofing that so early. And, you know, you have it became, becoming a Mega Maid, and it's gonna 
excuse me, it's going to vacuum out the air. And the, you know, they, he swaps it to reverse. And, Mega Maid, she's gone from suck to blow! Brilliant, you know. And then, you know, once the escape pods, it gets the, you know, the thing, it gets to be looking like the, what's it called, the, the Statue of Liberty, you know, and just, it blows up. I love the bit about, you know, how they only get to know about the cancellation button there at the very end, you know. This is your last chance to push the... Very, very, you know, courteous and, you know... <laughs> yeah, very, very nice, what's it called, you know, voice of the, you know, self-destruct, you know. Have a nice day. Thank you! And, you know, it gets blown apart and the head and the arm thing land in the sand and the, the monkeys are, you know, riding up. Brilliant, you know, just such a good reference to the you know, Planet of the Apes. Well, there goes the planet, and it's just, you know, like, there goes the name of it. Brilliant. Anyway, I promised I was going to talk about something other than the jokes. I like the, you know, I, I've, it's kind of cliche, the whole love story, love at first sight kind of thing, but it works, you know? I mean, when you see, you know, at first they're like, you know, oh, I can't stand that other one, and they're talking about how, you know, ugly the other one must be, and, you know, real quick, I gotta mention, I love that the priest accidentally calls Valium a princess, and I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's the hair. Brilliant. Anyway, you know, at first they were like, you know, at each other's throats, and, you know, th then they see each other. And, you know, and he gets so flustered that he messes up his, you know, <laughs> what he says, you know, you will address me as idiot, not you, what's it, you captain. <laughs> you know, and the whole, and, and she's sitting there talking about, oh, well, maybe I just can't be, you know, can't love, and they're just about to, you know, and, and this is actually a sort of recurring joke for Mel Brooks, this thing of, you know, you have to be married first. With, you know, the Dot has a virgin alarm. And just, you know, the, and he doesn't take the money and the whole thing. It just, it's simple, but it does work, you know, and I think it's a good idea to have this, you know, comedy end. In, I mean, it's not a movie that you can take very seriously, but I'd say it is still a good idea that there is this, you know, there is something to it beyond just, you know, the the jokes. I'd, I'd say it makes a story work better when you actually, you know, yeah, when, when it, when you could deconstruct it and it would still basically uh, hold up, you know, I mean, with Star Wars, you have these very, I don't know, it, I, I don't know, I suppose the villains in this could have had similar motivations to, you know, the empire of Star Wars, but it does, it, it makes it very central, it puts it in you know, it, it makes it be possible for it to be just one movie because sort of the scope is not as big. You have just the one spaceship. It's huge, but it's just the one. And you have this one main motivation of them to go after this one specific planet. You know, and that whole thing. So it kind of, it just works. And that leaves more room for the jokes. And still, you know, if, if a child watched this, and maybe only got like a third of the jokes because you know a bunch of them are kind of adult jokes or at least you know require a good understanding of language the child would still be able to follow the basic story you know and <laughs> it does kind of have you know it's a green movie you know it's you know you better take care of your atmosphere or one day you know the but but yes the I, I mentioned in the 
regular review that it is sort of a fairy tale. I suppose I could expand on that. Basically, you know, it, it is this very traditional love story and kind of, you know, by, by the end he does marry the princess. You know, it's, it's again very, that's, that's very different from Star Wars with how, you know, how, how that really proceeds, how, how that turns out. And it is, I suppose, Star Wars has aspects of a fairy tale, but I, I, don't know, I, I believe the accurate term is space opera. It, but but this is very much. I mean, this has it has kings. The you know, the love interest is an actual princess, and the only way they can be married is for the hero to turn out to be a prince, and it turns out that he is a prince. Heck, I think actually, that entire aspect of the film is probably directly from some old fairy tale. I'm not really sure, but. Yeah, the the thing about oh oh wait, it turns out that by birth by birthright I am an actual prince, you know, and that whole thing. I'm very fortunate that he had such nice garb somewhere in that Winnebago, and just the yeah, you know that that he goes and fights this great evil and wins the princess and you know, half the kingdom and that whole thing, you know. I suppose that is more or less it. I do really like the... the desert version of the King... Hel of uh, uh, King... of the Dark Helmet armor, you know, with... With, with the holes for the binoculars and that whole thing. Yeah, that... <laughs> and him playing with his dolls. One of the best moments. It's just, no sir, I did not see you playing with your dolls. Knock! Knock! Before you go and before you open my door! Yeah, I... I think that's about it. Otherwise, I'd just be listing off all my favorite jokes, and yeah, you might as well just watch the movie because I like pretty much all of them. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.